I'll make it up to you, I swear. show last night. The phones haven't stopped ringing all morning. Lexi? Yes? There's no smoking in this office. Stop blowing smoke up my ass. Oh, I'm sorry. No smoking. What next? William Chandler called. He wanted me to remind you that you two were having drinks tonight. Did he? Would you like me to cancel? No, I'll meet with him. Any news on tomorrow night's show? Harold and Holland's been working really hard. I think the line looks great. Thank you. But you know, I'm perfectly capable of thinking for myself, don't you think? When in doubt, say nothing. Good choice. What? What? Never see you anymore, Lance. Hey, I don't have time for one of your moves right now, okay? I've got an important meeting. I'm hungry. Do you know what today is? Oh, no, it's today, honey. It's the anniversary of our first date. Really? A great memory, honey. Am I gonna get my breakfast? And do you even remember that day? Yeah. I remember that I had to borrow a buddy's car just to pick you up. And that's it. Car broke down and we had to walk a couple miles to the nearest town. Do you remember how you had to carry me on your back? Yeah, you had blisters on your feet. I couldn't even afford a bus ticket. Lance, I didn't care about that. The only thing I cared about was you. All right, how about we have dinner? No distractions, just us. Promise? Yeah. Now, can I get my breakfast? Inspire you? 
have to concentrate. Well, why don't you just concentrate on me for a change? Talk to me. I don't even know why you bother. What's that supposed to mean? Your mom owns one of the biggest fashion companies in the world. And? Well, isn't it obvious? You don't have to work, Luke. Oh. So I guess I can just sit home and live off my mom, huh? Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Talk too much sometimes, you know that? Atrocious. Versace on acid. <sighs> Hate it. Even more than the last. But now here's a dress. That I absolutely can't stand. Maria, if we could What else just... do you have? Whoa. No, actually, that, that's all we have. And you approved the designs. I did not approve that. Well, in that case, we might have to talk about postponing the show. Excuse me? You boys get back to work. Do you know that in Bangkok they have little children in sweatshops doing a better job than that? Sorry, Nikki. I had to finish ironing Lance's shirts. Oh, listen. I want you to go with me tomorrow for the big fashion show. I can be my plus one. No, I can't. I already made plans. Okay, what is more exciting than going to an A-list fashion event? Transforming myself into a sex goddess to seduce my husband. Sounds boring. It would to you. So what are you going to wear in the show? You're kidding me, right? I know. If the lines were different, I'll be nice. Try this. You can lose that fringe, first of all. Make the hemline a little more sexy, as opposed to slutty. <laughs> like that, perhaps. Wow. And to think you dropped out of design school to marry what's his name? Breaks my heart. Go, he needs to ditch suburbia and come work for Maria. Nick, I already told you Alliance doesn't want me working. Okay, you are killing me with the June Cleaver talk. Still love me, though, right? Always. So what do you have planned for the rest of the evening? Why? I need something sexy to wear, and I thought you could help me. Do you have any good place around here we can go to? Oh, honey, you go where I go. Straight to the source, baby. Nice, again at me? You're telling me you don't enjoy this? Come on, have a little fun with it. Like that. Come on, show me you love that. Flirt with me. Again at me. You got $2 million in diamonds you're And you're telling me you don't love that? Again? One more time? Ready? You know what? Let's uh, take a 10-minute break. Don't go too far. We're not done yet. That was good, though. Mm -hmm. Michael? Yeah. We haven't had lunch yet. Good one. Good work, ladies. Rough life you live. It's especially brutal in the mornings. Ooh, we stalling for drinks tonight? Unless you bail. Would never happen. My liver's craving the alcohol. You going to the show tomorrow night? What am I saying? Nikki's in it. Of course you'll be there. Stalker. Fan. There's a distinction. And besides, I am dying to work with a girl. How about you? You get any work done? No. Nothing's coming to me. Every time I sit in front of a canvas, my mind goes blank. You need a muse. A muse? Yeah, you know, like someone to inspire you. I have Tanya. <laughs> no, I said to inspire you, not drain your bank account and annoy your friends. Trust me.
enjoy the generous perks of free designer clothes. <laughs> I did need new dish rags. Knock, knock. Oh, thank oh. God it's you. Hi. So, I take a shoe like the line. The she devil destroyed the entire collection. Everything. Okay, so what now? Oh, now we're just waiting for our fairy godmother to whip up a outrageously fabulous designer gown. We have nothing, Nikki. Okay, absolutely nothing. Not at all. Hey, why don't you uh, check out those dresses I told you about? They're down the hall. And don't come back unless you're a sex goddess. Okay. <laughs> you ready for this? I think I might have solved your problem. What? Check it out. What is this? I mean, besides utterly delicious. Uh, hello, can we use this? Yes, it's Michelle's drawing. She won't mind. Karina, make this dress and uh, make it fast. Okay, saving our asses. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. They were a little behind. Doing some heavy reading, are you, Mom? Just going over some last minute thoughts for the show. You should really think about taking a vacation soon. You work too much. The Alden Gallery called. Seems you've asked for a third extension. I don't see how this is any of your business. Luke, you're my son. Everything you do is my business. Especially when I funded your last show and I'm funding this one. The Alden Gallery will get their paintings. When? When they get them. It's not the answer I wanted to hear. I'm sorry to let you down. I'll give you one more month. Excuse me? I'll give you one month to make something of your art. After that, it's time to grow up and come to work at Gianni. Ma, we've been going over this for years. You know I have no desire to work for you. It's a shame you feel that way. Because unless you produce something viable with your art, I'll stop funding your shows. Mom, that's my life. I'm sorry, Luke. It's for your own good. Don't whistle at me like that, William. I'm not a dog. No, apparently you're a Cold War spy. Oh, you just don't want to be seen with me. Huh? I came here to discuss a payment plan with you. Yes? Um, martini, olives on the side. I like your style. No payment plan, I want the money all at once. Well, I can't do that right now. So what do you want me to do? Hmm. You can't be serious. Why not? You're a beautiful woman, and I'm a man. Are you forgetting who I am, you pompous punk? Well, you're a woman who's been stealing from her own company. And you're a woman who owes me an obscene amount of money. Or am I at the wrong table? No? Let me put it to you this way. If I don't get what I want, I might just have to tell your son that his mommy's been stealing from his trust fund. I borrowed the money. Oh, you borrowed the money? Oh. 
Oh, see, I didn't know you were borrowing the money. Does he know you're borrowing the money? Your son? Your son? I'll be damned. It is a small room. Okay, William, please. He can't see me here with you. What's it gonna be, Maria? I'm staying upstairs. Room 220. Five minutes. Picked up the gift for your wife. Thank you. You want to see it? It's a beautiful piece. I think she'll love it. Yeah, well, she better. It cost a fortune. May I? Sure. surprise my wife and be at home in time for dinner. <laughs> Dessert first, baby. Claudia? Claudia, the door! Better be good. Good morning, Maria. Well, we've been up all night, and here's what we've come up with. OK, guys, make my day. What have you got? Who'd you steal it from? Steal? You don't like it? You said she'd like it. Of course I like it. I love it. I just don't want to get sued. Oh, no. It's an original. I absolutely adore it. It closes the show. Have Nikki wear it. And you can carry it back down. We're using your dress. <laughs> what dress? I slipped your design to Harold and Hans. They loved it. Michelle, it's going to close the show. Shut up. <laughs> no, I take it you're not angry. No, I can't believe it. This is amazing.
gotta go. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna stay here in case you get hungry for more. <laughs> Hey, babe. This is great. You really outdid yourself. Let's eat. I have other plans. You have other plans? I don't know why just... No, you're not going anywhere. Your hour's late, Lance. I was with a client. You wanted to have this dinner, so we are going to have it. Oh, baby, before you sit down, uh, these need to be new. They're a little cold. It's done. Michelle, it's done. Until showtime, 15 minutes, people. You look great. <laughs> Thank you. It's all because of you. You should have seen the look on Tanya's face when I put it on. Who's Tanya? Some skinny little model I can't stand. All right, give me details. Later. I'm going to hear about how you ditched your husband. Can you believe that? You can stay at my place tonight if you want. No, I don't think that'd be a good idea. Come on, you're on a roll. <laughs> Besides, you look amazing. You need to get out there and mingle with the hotties. Mingle with the hotties? <laughs> Nikki, I am still married. Oh, come on. Michelle, flirt. You'll do wonders for your self-esteem. Look, you do look amazing. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Please. 
Are you here alone? My friend's in the show. One of the models? Yeah. Here we go. is looking a little puffy today, Nikki. What happened? It's wrong, Tanya. Sleeping with the boss's son hasn't jump-started your career. You're such a bitch. <laughs> it takes one to know one. What did you think? It was wonderful. The line was really amazing. Especially that last one. Really? Yeah, it looked amazing. You think so? Absolutely. It was a beautiful dress. I'm gonna go hit on some models. I'll catch up with you kids later. <laughs> I'm Luke, by the way. Michelle. So, are you in the industry? No, not as glamorous. I'm more like a desperate housewife. You're anything but desperate. What are you doing here? Everybody likes models, Maria. Thought we had a deal. We do. You bought yourself a little time with that performance of yours last night. <laughs> Look, this show's a huge success. The orders will be pouring in in the morning. Let's celebrate. It's not going to be any repeat performance. I never repeat myself, Maria. Oh. Regardless, I'm going to give you until Friday. What? Friday. 
You know, the day at the end of the week, the day that you're gonna give me the money you owe me, or the house of Johnny's gonna be mine. You can't do that. Yeah, actually, I can. But here's the thing. I have faith in you. You're a creative woman. You'll think of something. What about you? Let me guess. A musician? I'm a painter. Well, that's wonderful. There you are. Hi, Tony. Who's your friend? Tony, uh, this is Michelle. Hi. Hi. Did I uh, see you backstage? Um, no, I'm here with Nikki. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Just so many girls like you back there. I'm sorry, uh, girls like me? Yeah, you know, girls with hair and makeup. Tanya, Michelle's a guest. Oh, sorry. I hope I didn't offend you. No, not at all. Excuse me, Luke. I'm gonna go congratulate Nikki. She did close the show. It was a pleasure. Poor girl. Must suck being that plain. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, you have to meet Maria today. Really? Yeah. Nikki, you were beautiful. But if you're ever late for one of my shows again, you're going to be modeling burkas in Afghanistan, understand? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the show came out great. Who's she? Oh, this is Michelle Miller. She's actually the one that designed this dress. Who do you work for? Well, her uh, confidentiality agreement prohibits her from disclosing. Do you have a portfolio? Yeah, she does, actually. Just not with her. So not only are you designer, but you're part of a ventriloquist act. If you're interested in a job, call my assistant Lexi in the morning. She'll set up a meeting. Ramon, you Visigoth, you came. Did I just land an interview with Maria Gianni? Yes, you did. You're lying, right? <laughs> oh my God. I don't have a portfolio. Well, honey, you better get one. Fast. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Michelle. Michelle. What are you doing here, Lance? I came here to talk to you. Can you give me a minute? Sure, I'll be right here. I've been calling you for over an hour. Why have you picked up? What are you doing here, Lance? Come on, baby, don't be mad at me. How do you expect me to feel? Lately, it's been one disappointment after another. Lance, you're not putting anything into this marriage. That's not true. Michelle, you know I've been working a lot at the office. I've had to work long hours, and I'm working really hard. And I'm doing that so that we can have a better life together. For us and for the family that we're going to have. All right, I know I am not the greatest husband at juggling my work and my wife. I know that. You're my world, babe. All right, I wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna do this until our anniversary next month, but, uh, hey, I love you. I don't know what I would do without you. Pants. Go ahead, put it on.
Give me a second. He's still a jerk. He needs me. I love you. Call me tomorrow. In the best. You leaving so soon? My ride's here. Lucky guy. Oh, good night. And it was um nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. So who's that guy? I just met him tonight. <laughs> These people are trash, Michelle. You don't belong here. glasses and a bottle of champagne in the fridge. Why don't you grab it and meet me upstairs? Make me come down there. Just a second. Michelle, if you're not up here soon, I'm gonna have to come down there and get you. 